So a subprogram is a special block of code, but it is a block of code nonetheless, which means it needs to be documented. Not only is it a block of code, but there are actually blocks of code contained within it. We see in the example here, calc rec area is our function, and it is a block of code. Inside, we have three separate blocks of code. Now, they may be very simplified blocks of code because they're only doing one simple task, but they are blocks of code nonetheless. They are separate ideas that are doing separate things, just like separate paragraphs. Sometimes they may be one line, sometimes they may be many lines. So if we were to document normally, we would document each one of these lines as uh, a regular program. So we might say something like um, uh, temporary variable to store the resulting rectangle area. Down here, we might say something like calculate calculate the area of the rectangle as a equals l times w and then finally return the resulting area so we've given a simple little uh, comment for each one of those blocks of code within the block of code but the big block of code the function the subprogram it needs to be documented as well now when we document subprograms we do throw we do so consistently so every one of the subprograms we create are going to have the same three pieces of information involved with them. They're going to have what's called a precondition, a postcondition, and a description. So the precondition. The precondition is essentially what needs to be true about the parameters for the subprogram to do its job. So what needs to be true about the parameters, length and width in this case, for the subprogram to do its job. So you may have to go through every single parameter. In our case, because they're very related, we can actually group our comment into one, co one comment. So we could say um, the dimensions, my goodness, of the rectangle are positive numbers. Why does it matter if they're positive? Well, it matters because you can't have a negative length or a negative width. That's physically impossible. So things need to be brought into context. Now notice that if the programmer actually puts in a negative length or width, this program will still do its job. You're just going to get a negative area. But it's not going to be what's expected. So our preconditions are kind of like our contract that we're setting up saying we expect a positive number for each one of these variables. The second part is what's called the post condition. The post condition says what is what is expected of the returning value. So in this case, the area. So what is expected of the returning value? So we might say something like um, returns a positive number representing the rectangle area given the dimensions. And the final piece is our description. We'll keep that short, our description. Essentially the description is what is it doing and how is it doing it? So we are calculate the area of a rectangle based on given dimensions using a equals L times W. The purpose of these three lines is so a programmer out, outside of yourself, somebody else who's looking at this code, won't have to go through the complexity of the subprogram to figure out what's going on and what needs to be true in order to use your subprogram. They may be using it at a later time, just like you use all the subprograms I create for you inside of the helper.js. So the pre, the post, and the description. With that simple piece of information, that programmer should know everything he or she needs to actually use the code. Now in this case, the code inside is very simple. It's only three lines of code. However, sometimes it might be complex, it might be long, it might be very difficult to understand. But those three lines of text are going to help the programmer understand at a glance. It's all about readability. We can see that our program is already becoming much more readable in terms of knowing uh, what does what and when. 
So that is how we document our subprograms and everything there is to know about subprograms, procedures, and functions at this point in the course.